Full throttle. Just rolls off the tongue. Full throttle, guys. Full throttle. What's going on, guys? Hope you guys had a fantastic St. Patty's Day. Trying out some new uh, audio equipment right now. Right now we're on the straight shotgun mic like I always film. Uh, we picked up some new, well not new, we had it for a while, or I had it for a while. Uh, lavalier mics, uh, the wireless Go 2, right? Uh, so I'm gonna turn it on right now, let you guys uh, see the difference. There we go. So much crispier, you guys. So I'm gonna just going to uh, clip that on here. So that's out of the way. There you go. So much better, eh? I've been testing it out and fantastic. Uh, so when we're gonna be working around in the shop, you can always hear me everywhere I go and the sounds just be nice and crisp. And it really cuts out a lot of the echoes. Um, recording in the shop here with the shotgun mic, it's, you can hear a lot of echoes with this new setup, premium. But I wanna show you guys, see? I'm on the side of the uh, shotgun mic or the camera and you can still, you can still hear me. You can still hear me. And then I'm in the back right now. Before, when I'm vlogging, a lot of you guys are complaining like, oh, the audio is kind of crappy because this shotgun mic is fantastic for straight on, but when you're on the side, it's just no way, no guys, it's just no good. So yeah, I want to show you guys something. <laughs> Even when I'm all the way out here grabbing the box, you guys can still hear me. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out, guys. So a buddy of mine, Mr. Victor, picked me up one of these. I've been wanting an R34 for a long time, you guys, but can't afford one, so. But now I do, even with Mr. Paul Walker in it too. So we'll be opening this one of these days. We'll check it out. Wonder if I should do a time lapse, eh? Building one of these. Yeah. Let's set that right here, Mr. Paul Walker. Got one more thing to show you guys. It's kind of cool. You can still hear me over here. I'm gonna move my coffee out of the way first. Check this out, guys. Boom. Look at that. This is what I'm gonna be unboxing next week. Can you guess what it is? Two of them. All right guys, so I wanna get into the uh, vlog. Um, before I start, uh, I wanna thank all you guys that have been following me for a long time. Uh, we're going into, I believe this is my fourth year as uh, vlogging. And what a, what a fantastic ride, you guys. And it's, I'm blown away with all the people that I've met along the way and just, you know who you are and we'll be seeing you more in the future. And uh, a lot of traveling, um, I'm blessed with that. Like. At first I thought, I was like, you know, I was talking to my nephew about it. I was like, you know, I do sometimes miss out a lot of things because I'm busy vlogging, trying to capture all the moments and stuff like that. But I asked him like, am I going to regret it in the future? And he's like, no, Uncle Fun. He's like, you captured and you, if it wasn't for the camera and vlogging, I might have not went on a lot of these trips because there was no reason to, right? Uh, other than that, like going to Hawaii or Mexico and stuff like that. Um, going down to the States where I normally go to, which is Las Vegas and LA, but there's other places I've never, no reason to go to, but now I have a reason to, because you guys. All right, so what I'm trying to say is, you know, being a YouTuber is not as glamorous as what, not, a lot of times what you see on the screen is not really what's happening in real life. Uh, it's lugging this camera around everywhere, making sure you get the right content, uh, recording the, the right moments or having that camera on all the time or trying to, it becomes a, kind of a hassle, especially if you're traveling with family and, and friends. You have to basically slow down to, get, to capture everything. And while you're doing that, you know, there's sometimes if, if you're a foodie, the food gets cold, you gotta try to get the right picture and for the thumbnail. And then your friends and your family are kind of waiting on you. They're, because they love you, they don't, they don't say anything, but realistic, they're hungry, they're hangry, and they want to eat. And while you're just, oh, one more second, one more second, you guys, oh, you, can you hold the light for me, hold the light for me? And yeah, what you see on this, sometimes on the screen is how you get those beautiful pictures. There's a lot of sacrifices. And uh, again, I want to say thank you to my friends and family that have been through all this with me for like 
the last couple, several years already. And uh, there's going to be many more. Hopefully, I'm better at it now that the capturing the content, it goes a lot quicker and faster and so they can enjoy the food even better. And uh, the other thing, the reason why I was asking if, if I'm going to regret it is because looking through the lens and looking through your own eyes and living in the moment is totally different. Okay, here is a prime example. When I went to the LA Lakers game with my son, the season opener, he was all excited to go there, you know, watch the GOAT, LeBron James, um, play. Possibly his, you know, his last season. We didn't know at the time, right? So we went there, spent the fortune and his father, son, you know, weekend. And I was too busy on the damn lens. We're trying to record and I was starstruck because I saw all the stars and trying to capture everything. Looking back, I'm like, oh, I would have enjoyed it more if I wasn't on the camera all the time. So that's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of sacrifices that we do to capture these moments. The big announcement is I made okay i had a lot of feedback from friends and family my channel name is way too long which i already knew that because when i was making instagram tags it was way too long fun trend unscripted was like this long it was like it was massive you guys and there's just no no go i saw my friend victor on his license plate was never enough i'm like yeah fantastic instagram tag it's short enough done deal that's where never enough came from so going back i put in a lot of consideration and it is true and then with my YouTube channel, Fun Tran and Scripted. Unfortunately, the name Fun is very, very popular. Fun Tran is very, very popular. If you Google it or you search it on YouTube, thousands and thousands of Fun Trans pop up. It wasn't unique. Uh, so I, that's why I, I had feedback from Marcos. And he said, like, Fun, you got to change your name. It's just, it doesn't stand out. And maybe that's what's hindering the channel, why it's not grown as quickly as I want it to be. So we came up with a name. Oh, well, I came up with this name, but I had a lot of inputs from friends and especially my nephew and his wife are uh, genius. These guys is just helped me with everything when it comes to like YouTube. Vit sauce was, was the front runner at the time because Vietnamese and sauce and I'm like, you know what? Give it the sauce, give it the sauce. I was thinking of hashtags and you know, for the future now, because when I first started, I never thought about picking a name that would go a long ways. It just, it sounded okay at the time. Let's do it, let's roll with it. And now that you get a little more serious about YouTube and the brand and everything, my recommendation is you guys pick a name that's going to last and you can market, you can do hashtags and you need something to stand out. It sounds really, it, it's important. It's one of the biggest, I think without, without the proper name, you're going to get lost in the algorithm. Just people are going to look for you, you're going to get lost. Unless you got some famous name, but the famous name is just not famous until you get discovered, right? So that's the reason why we're changing the channel name. So for you guys that are following me on Instagram, you already know what it is. It's Full Throttle. <laughs> full, now with F-U-L-L, -L, it's P-H-O, which suits me because I'm a, obviously a car channel and a foodie. And I love my food, I love my pho, and a lot of you... Canadians and Americans pronounce pho as pho, so it's basically full throttle. When I announced it to my friends and family, and it's like almost every one of them were like, genius, you guys, that suits me, and that's, that's it. That's the new channel name. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. It was stressful. Picking a name stressed me out for months, you guys. It wasn't just an overnight thing. I just, Thought, we went through a lot of names, a lot of names. It just, a lot of names just, just didn't pan out. The reason why it was stressful is not as easy as you think. So you're gonna pick a name that's short, catchy, and it has to work with YouTube and Instagram or other social medias. So the problem that I ran into was every time I picked out a fantastic name or a name that worked for me, worked for YouTube, and is already taken on Instagram. Instagram is the worst, the worst. There's a lot of people that take names and they don't post or they don't, they're, it's just like a dead account, but yet they won't give it up. They won't cancel it or they haven't posted or haven't been on Instagram for the last four years. I tried thinking like just my name, Fun Tran, just like Robbie Ferreira or Jack or Dustin Williams or Adam LZ. Those are genius names, but I don't have a name like that. Unfortunately, my name is unisex, you guys. So if you go Google Fun Tran, all these Vietnamese girls pop up. I don't even show up on the radar, you guys. That's unfortunately, that's, yeah, I have a girl name. <laughs> a girl name. <sighs>
So hope you guys love the new channel name, Full Throttle. Just rolls off the tongue. Full Throttle, guys. Full Throttle. We're gonna do a lot of car meets this year. We're gonna try to partner up with a lot of mobile tea shops, boba tea for you Americans, um, some food shops some Vietnamese subs, but me. So look forward to that, you guys. All right, you guys, so we're gonna end off the vlog. So I wanna again say thanks to all you guys that have followed me on the years, have subscribed to the channel, following me on my Instagram, and gave me the support. I know the ones that always comment and always supported me. Big, huge thanks to you guys. We're gonna go into the new year, full throttle. See ya. In the